talking with Harry Long and Robert, Robert Watt. Robert Watt of the Snakes Nation. And they're, they are here today uh, to help celebrate River, Rivers Day. And I'd like to start, Harry, by asking you if you could tell me a little bit about yourself and the Snakes Nation and what we're doing here today. Okay. My grandfather is Alex Christian. In 1914, he was petitioning the government for a reserve. And in 59, we were extinct. So my involvement is to help Robert Watt right here, who is a caretaker of our ancestors in the Spokane Valley, and to work with uh, the head man, uh, Bob Campbell, and a uh, designated spokeswoman, Marilyn James, to help them with re-recognition. And I'm using this canoe in a way as goodwill tour to go down south to the border and also uh, There's some nice around people. Here in Colville, right? There are. We are. We were uh, relocated. Maybe Robert can say something about that. We were located um, out in Canada. Yeah, well, uh, up here, uh, our traditional territory, you know, 80% of it is in Canada and 20% of it is down in, in the States. And up here in Canada, they declared us extinct for whatever reasons. and. Uh, they didn't leave no reserves. Yeah. Everything we come up with, we've got to do it on our own. There's a lot of uh, tribes around us that do get a lot of money. And I think part of it for us being extinct uh, was to do with the waterways, you know, because uh, then they didn't have to deal with no Indians when it comes to the Columbia River or the lost fisheries, lost village sites and all that. But there is other groups like right now, like, uh, that are getting money for those things that got destroyed in this whole area because of the dams and stuff. A lot of money got put in that for like even the town sites mm -hmm. and um, you know and a lot of Indians, uh, the different groups of Indians around us are getting money out of that you know for lost village sites, lost burial grounds, lost uh, cultural mm -hmm. sites, lost fisheries, lost food, all that stuff you know that some of those groups are getting money, but then they're, they're totally ignoring us because they uh, declared us extinct, you know. But that doesn't mean that we don't exist, that we're still taking care of things. So. No, I was going to say that you don't look very extinct. Yeah, <laughs> and, there's, and we're still, you know, it still I doesn't matter. <laughs> it still has to be taken care of, yeah. so we're doing that. And I'm so proud of uh, Harry here for uh, dealing with our Well, community. thank you. And how it ties in with the, uh, um, the canoe right here is, is a, a clan uh, mother uh, said that um, the stream of, uh, of life is is rough and we have to learn how to use our canoe and we have not used it well no what um, because of our shallow ways and we've violated many laws of nature laws of nature <laughs> And because of, we, uh, of that, we are in danger of water right now. Mm -hmm. And we cannot expect our children to clean up the mess that we've made. Mm -hmm. And we, we need to fix up, we've got to patch some spots, like here. We've got to bring back the salmon. Yes. And we've got to stop dumping. We've got to do that. And we also have to respect Mother Nature. We have to and stop treating the water like it's a garbage pit. <laughs> exactly. We are all in the same canoe, okay? Yeah, we're all we all breathe the same air and and we drink the same water. And today we learned a lot about that. Yes. And that's what it's about. We're here today supporting BC Rivers Day. That's what we're here for. We we want our clan mothers. We want to listen to them. They gave us some some good, good. message. And it's the same message that we heard today from your guest speakers. We need to listen to them. We need to um, honor their dreams. And we need to pull together. We're and all in this together. We're <laughs> all in it together. We need to yeah. pull together. And I just want to thank uh, the research, like uh, Nathan Goodall. Yeah. I want to thank other um, anthropologists. And I want to thank you all that, that you're helping us with this uh, little... Save the world. <laughs> Literally. 
mm. by interviewing us. Yeah. You're doing that, and, and you are helping to save the world, and, and we are here for BC Rivers Day, and that's yeah. what this canoe is all about. That's why we're here. So what are we going to do now with the canoe, or shortly? Well, shortly, the organizers here want to see it launched, and Ooh. that's uh, what we're going to do. And we're, I'm going to get in the water. We're going to put it in and the And maybe, pan? maybe you might want to get in the water. <laughs> Oh boy! Maybe. Maybe. It's a beautiful boat. Well, it's a thank very... you. So is this a traditional design? This is a traditional design right here. It, uh, with modern materials, of course. Uh, I understand that many of our people made it, including my grandfather, and and what he made was primitive, but it was something that uh, I I I know it's hard to navigate on land. And it's it's easier to navigate on on water, and and that's what it was used for. Okay. okay so this, we cool. got to go out yeah, and run. Oh, can you show this, please? Yes, I will. All right. Absolutely. Thank you. This is All right. this Thank is you how, so much. This is the way that up over your back. that most people carry it. And just yep. put it on their shoulder like this, and then <laughs> then you can run a 10k with this baby. And now we're coming. Not to shout, we can mic you. Um, I just want everybody to know that Harry is going to be launching his canoe at the Threadskill Bridge. As soon as we're wrapped up here, if you want to see the launch of the Sturgeonos, then we're just going to drive up to the Threadskill. He's going to put it in the water there. So for those of you who are interested in seeing that canoe on the water, um, please uh, do your little um, caravan up there and uh, check out the canoe in the water. Got a match? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but it's uh, somewhere else. We go down here. Yeah. Walk this way, Tim. Here we go. Whoop. Happy dresser there, Harry. That's how you do it. <laughs> okay, I gotta, I gotta make peace with water, right? Yeah. Woo! Just in case, eh? Just in case. That's the fanciest way I've ever seen anybody take a pee in public. <laughs> <laughs> the canoe maker told me that I'm supposed to wear the life jacket. We won't tell anybody. He told me that uh, he wanted me to get this book, um, Rough Waters or something like that. He wanted me to read a book before <laughs> before I got a canoe. <laughs> Good modeling for the kids. <laughs> Where's your life jacket? Let me see the video. And you're now, the, red. I'll tell you what, the hardest part about this canoe is getting in it. Without uh, getting wet, without dumping, and I can't. Uh, I always have a hard time getting in the canoe. It's the most embarrassing part. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do it on land. Help you stand. Ah. Would you send you off? Would you like a send off? Well, let me see. I gotta get my. I gotta get up here a little closer. Uh, now let him move first. Let me see. Oh, I got a heavy butt. <laughs> I got to get my butt up here. Yeah. Stop at the dam, eh? <laughs> oh well, let's go. Yeah, here comes that. Some nice. The high dam or the dam? Oh yeah. 
Unstable. Huh? It is unstable. Stable, I think. Oh, it does stable. Yeah, okay. It looks pretty good. Okay. This is where I get in trouble getting out. So, what is the trick? What canoes do is they put the. Yeah, that's right. Huh? You gotta keep the paddle in the water. Silent paddle. <laughs> I'm floating. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. When yeah, you can a little better. When you're in trouble, when you flip. Yeah. Okay. Dad, you're looking a little heavier than that. Just wait till she takes over. Don't push it. Don't push it. Talking into it. <laughs> <laughs> when he comes around. Hi. 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 H